Tokyo already boasts an extensive system of tunnels, drainage channels, and storage cisterns. But like much of the world, Japan is coping with unprecedented weather due to climate change, forcing it to dig once more. To fight climate-induced extreme weather events deep below the streets of Tokyo is tunneling to stop climate change flooding in the city. More in our next report. It looks like a secret underground cavern from the set of a movie, but it's actually a facility designed to keep Tokyo from flooding. It is one part of a growing system to ensure the expected increase in rainfall doesn't overcome the Japanese capital. Helping to oversee the expansion of this underground system is Shuno Tomo. As the climate changes, these kinds of rains are expected to become more and more frequent. And to have even greater impact, we intend to strengthen the provisions of these facilities in order to ensure the safety and security of the people of Tokyo. 59 massive pillars that are 59 feet high and weigh 500 tons each make up what is known as the underground chamber here north of Tokyo. It has enough volume to fit almost 100 Olympic-sized swimming pools of water. When nearby rivers flood, the overflow courses through nearly four miles of massive underground tunnels before collecting here in what is officially known as the Metropolitan Outer Area Underground Discharge Channel. Facilities like this one help protect Tokyo from a changing climate. Being tracked by Tokyo University Professor of Environmental Science and Climate Risk, Seita Emori. We are now in a long-term warming trend. So we anticipate that previously unseen record amounts of rain will fall as the temperature rises in the future. The summer of 2024 was the hottest since records began in 1898, Japan's weather agency said in September. In Tokyo, sudden violent storms known as guerrilla downpours have become increasingly common. Tokyo's flood defenses went into action on August 30th as security cameras captured water pouring into the underground cathedral as a typhoon lashed southwest Japan nearly 400 miles away. The system kicked in four times in June, more than all of last year. During Typhoon Chan Chan, it captured enough water to fill the Tokyo Dome baseball stadium almost four times before pumping it safely into the Etagawa River and out to sea. Work is also underway using a colossal tunneling machine to ground a path through the earth below Tokyo. The aim is to capture vast quantities of rain that might otherwise flood the streets above. 